Let's go. Time to go. Let's go. They, they started turning on bright lights here and started handing out notices, telling everyone that they had, they were going to give us time to pack and leave, and if we did not leave, they would forcibly make us leave. I uh, just was shocked, like everybody else, when uh, they, um, with very little warning, um, started surrounding and coming into the park and taking everybody out. Just now, they took all everyone's property and were throwing it away when people locked down to refuse to be moved. They were um, uh, forcibly removed. And the worst part was I saw one girl punched in the jaw in the face when she refused to uh, let go, uh, extremely uh, violent, pulling apart of people who are refusing to let go of each other. So, um, yeah, I'm very concerned about the safety uh, of people in there because I know that they're not going to willingly leave. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm giving you a warning, sir. Keep the street, sir. We also require that you immediately leave the park on a temporary basis so it can be cleared and restored for its intended use. You will be allowed to return to the park in several hours when this work is complete. If you decide to return, you will not be permitted to bring tents, sleeping bags, tarps, and similar materials with you. As noted above, once the park has been cleared of tents, sleeping bags, and tarps, you will be allowed to return. Subject to the real rules governing the use of this park, the sooner the clearing is accomplished, the sooner you can return. The park will be open for public use once it is cleared and restored. It's heartbreaking to see everyone's, um, like the library, the, the kitchen, the equipment, everything confiscated and just thrown into the sanitation truck. Well, we're not getting any of that back. It, it looks like it's going into a, a garbage pile. If you fail to immediately leave the park or in any manner interfere with the efforts to remove property from the park, you will be subject to arrest. I did see police with batons out. That concerns me that they're prepared to use a certain amount of force. Uh, so I'm concerned about that. Um, there's a lot of young people, maybe even teenagers in there. Um, I know there were even families and children there earlier. I don't know if there's any children in there now. But um, uh, yeah, I'm very concerned about um, if, if anyone's uh, going to be injured. I did hear from people that there was people being beaten, uh, I'm kind of worried about them. So I have a lot of friends that were in there. A bunch of people tied themselves to each other. That was one group of people. And another group of people, you hauled their necks apparently to some benches so that if the police tried to sort of use force to remove them, it would crack their necks, which is a pretty brave, I don't know, it seems like a pretty brave thing to do. You know, we're all on the same side. Even the one percent, that's one sentiment that I really don't ap approve of with uh, the whole movement. The dividing between 99 and one percent, that's, we all fed this system that is in place right now. We're all equally responsible and the only way we're going to fix it is if everyone comes together. It seems like in the last 40 years people have sort of like bought into this helplessness, like fatalism, like you can't, even if you don't approve of the system that is ruling us, you've got to just kind of adapt and survive. That seems like the mentality and all, but we're living through the first time since the 60s where people are like waking up and realizing, no, this is, this is our power, this is our country, this is our world.